accurately, and we are in one of the most bio-intense places on Earth. It's silent now, but as the darkness rolls in and the sun goes down, it transforms. So strap your boots on and get ready. about five meters into the lagoon area and on this palm tree here we have one of the most photographed frogs on the planet. Agalignes calidrius, the red-eyed tree frog. Now the red-eyed tree frog is actually relatively common, it lives all the way from Mexico right down to Panama and beyond into Bolivia and it's certainly one of the more beautiful frogs on the planet. You can see here the female is a larger one on the bottom and the male is a smaller individual holding onto her back. He's actually got his eyes closed at the moment, but you can see from the female the beautiful red eyes that give them their name. Absolutely stunning. Here we found ourselves Rana Tora, the Central American bullfrog, also called the Smoky Jungle Frog. He's a huge fella. Very interesting because they actually produce a call when you capture them. Sounds a bit like a baby screaming. Now apparently that call will attract other predators. Certainly caiman, but the local guys will tell you here, it even attracts jaguars. The intention of that is hopefully the predator that's grabbed hold of the frog will be scared off by the other predators. Also, it's just a real shock when it starts screaming. We've come around the other side of the lagoon and we've been really, really lucky. Just behind me here on the leaves, we have a spread of thousands and thousands of eggs of Agalignes spirelli, a very similar species to the red-eyed tree frog that we've seen earlier. The difference is these guys form massive breeding abrogations of as many as hundreds and hundreds of individuals and lay their eggs in huge piles all stacked together. The reason that they do this is hopefully so that they can totally outfox predators, producing as many eggs as they can at once, and some of them will survive. Here we are, not a foot from the eggs of the spirelli. And we have the predator, the cat's eye snake, waiting here. The chances are he's already fed up tonight. He's got a huge lump in his tummy. That might either be a frog or a big pile of the eggs of the spirelli. And just up above us are another two or three. So hopefully a few of them make it through. This little fella here is a spectacled caiman. You can see the reason that they're called spectacled caiman. They have these ridge lines around their eyes and over the top of the skull that make it look like spectacles. The other thing you'll notice is that like other crocodilians, they have these beautiful scoots so these guys can swim along under the water very, very close to the surface without producing any ripples. He's probably in the shallow water to chase himself some frogs, water spiders, maybe even small snakes. They specialise in fish and he has very nice little sharp teeth for exactly that. Throughout history, these beautiful animals have been representative of magic. Now this is probably partly because of their metamorphosis between being tadpoles and adults. But I think it's probably partly because they're just beautiful. Unfortunately, the reality for frogs is that they're disappearing all over the world. In the last two decades, we've lost more than a dozen species. A lot of people think that it might be because of climate change. Others suggest introduced diseases or pesticides. I think the important thing is that we all make our own effort to try to conserve these amazing animals because they really are so beautiful. <laughs>